Yaloha and welcome to my 11th Microsoft Excel 2013 tutorial uh, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use um, some time formulas. Uh, we went over how time works in the previous tutorial so if you haven't watched that one yet then I suggest watching it before you watch the formulas one because uh, otherwise the formulas one isn't going to make much sense. Now uh, I'm going to start off with uh, a couple of simple formulas so uh, the first one I'll show you is equals today and this is there's nothing in really in relation to time uh, what this is uh, is it gives you the current date uh, and now similar to this we've got now and what that gives you is the current date and the time so in this tutorial I'm going to use this one uh, uh, but it, today is also a really useful one that I think I forgot to show you when I was going through dates so uh, today and now very useful just gives you the current day or the current date and time the time will update whenever the sheet is calculated so this includes when it's opened or when you change any of the sums and things like that uh, or if you press f9 it will recalculate what the time is uh, so let's just delete the just the day and we're going to be working with this one which is date and time uh, now, I've already shown you in the date ones how to take out the day, the uh, month and the year, uh, but you, know, you probably guessed already that you can actually take out also the hour by doing hour. Uh, you can do equals second and a moment these are coming out in date format, which obviously we don't want, uh, and minute. Uh, and I've spelled minute wrong. Right, so this gives us three numbers, and if we go into our general number format, you'll see that this is giving us 9, 42, and 4 seconds. Uh, so let's just put the minutes above the second. So hour, minute, and second. Uh, and so this gives us a very useful set of formulas, as we had in the last one. So we can recreate our times but using sections of this so we can do equals the hour uh, well equals time uh, and then this takes an hour a minute a second so we could do the hour plus one comma minute comma second and this will give us the current time plus one hour uh, and similarly we could take out the in fact let's just copy and paste this as a blanket one uh, and now all my formulas have uh, dropped down uh, and so we can take out the hour we could say let's see what the time is in 30 minutes uh, and that will give us 10 13 a.m. Uh, which means it's almost time for my Weetabix uh, but anyway I'm sure you're not interested in my Weetabix habits uh, so those three formulas, uh, along with the time formula, are all very useful. Uh, and then also we've got the now and today ones as well. Uh, and that's going to be pretty much it for date and time. There are quite a lot of other formulas you can do, but like I said, was going over the date formulas. Uh, now you should be in a position where you should be able to look at most of the date and time formulas and kind of understand them a bit yourself uh, and understand that you need to pass some parameters. Uh, and also you should understand about the concept of the the date the dates being the number of days since first of the first 1900 uh, and then the time being a decimal point which represents how far through the day uh, the time is so 0 0.5 being kind of 12 o'clock midday uh, and that's going to be it for this tutorial in the next tutorial we're going to go on to how to use nested formulas so thanks for listening and i hope to catch you then